Good morning everyone. This is the complete walkthrough played in the 150th Open 9 Hole Cup Master Division qualifying round. Before you continue with the video, make sure that you have hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. This is a completely free to play walkthrough and if you plan to switch balls, then make sure you also account for the changes in elevation. Usually higher wind pushes the ball more, so keep that in mind. And being up front in the qualifying round, I did not try to dial in the par threes as there were too many wind angle tweaks needed across all of them. And considering the time constraints, I did not invest too many practice tokens in them. But however, I will have the wind angle tweaks in the raw notes file for you. Apart from them, you will see drops on all par fours and regular eagles on all par fives. The winds on par fives are not friendly and I highly recommend playing for safe eagles only but if you want to push harder for the albatrosses then it's your call now uh, hole number one is coming up next for hole number one we are going to start with p3 in empty position first we'll apply max left spin four bars and we try to go to the max possible toss spin which is usually around 5.8 to 5.9 bars then we will make an adjustment max plus 10 percent p3 and without any push-up we'll be applying full op with half a ball of left curl this will give us a slow needle we try to hit perfect and depending upon the roll the drive can be plus minus 398 yards four of four in my case In the second shot, I am playing the Endbringer Rough Bump here at 25% EB School method. Now, most of the times this came about to be one is to one in like almost all drive yardages that I practiced. So you can maybe gamble and directly adjust one is to one. But uh, again, if you want the elevation, I would recommend 25% EB School. Add spins with white ring touching the rough and second bounce just before the fringe. We adjust and we try to hit perfect. Toss spin to have the ball guard line to the hole. We do hit perfect. We take a nice rough bump and roll dead center for an eagle on hole one, par four. For hole number two, we are going to play with quarterback along with the working slayer ball. Apply 1.3 backspin and have the ball cut line going 0.5 green square through the hole. Now we will come in a little hot but I believe 1.3 backspin is just good enough because if you add more backspin you might end up short and it is always better to hit the pin and bounce off rather than end up short. That's just my view. I mean you can always change the spins. Adjustment 1 is to 1 minus 1 and here we will lip out on the left side of the cup. So like I said during the intro, if we have the correct wind angle tweaks, collect, uh, correct clicks of right or left curl, this would have come dead center for the hole in one. If you have the similar wind angle, I recommend applying two, um, one click of right curl and this will most likely drop for you on hole two part three. Hole three part five, here we have a cross headwind. I'm going to use my apocalypse along with illuminated ball and Cataclysm for the second shot. I'm using six toss spin and two left spin here on the drive, but I would recommend uh, limiting your toss spin to 5.8 because we have glitchy fairways across the scores and you do not want to catch a glitchy spot and roll into the rough or bunker on the top. So limit yourself to 5.8 toss spin along with two left spin from plus one yard mark. We'll be adjusting max plus 10% P5. And without any OP whatsoever, we will just center the ball and hit perfect. Again, like I said, we have glitchy fairways, so the drive may or may not be consistent, but you will always be around plus minus seven to eight yards. On my main game play, I was short by like seven yards. On this one, I think I was close around 355, if I'm not wrong. 353 yards. The second shot will be just your regular transportation shot using the big dog or the cataclysm 
I'm using five toss spin and two bars of right side spin. Now find a sweet spot, uh, which might be at the max line, which might be at a certain plus yardage. For me, it was plus 10 with low ring touching the rough on right. Adjustment, max plus 10% P5. And notice how much you pull into OP, the same will be applied to your shot. Here I'm using half ball of right curl, but I would recommend keeping the left side of the ball touching the right inner ring of the power circle so that it prevents you coming too close to the rough like I did here. You see we were very close, so a little more curl and you will be away from the rough. Now the eagle shot, I'm going to show you two shots here, one from practice and one from my actual round. Here I'm going for the falcon dunk using max backspin and then I keep my bullseye at the back of the cup. In my opinion, dunking is the best way to play in this wind specifically when you have headwind directly on the approach. Now I play this one minimum distance minus 10% P5 numbers, min minus 10 P5. We center the ball and hit perfect. Perfect ball and we have a safe eagle on hole 3 par 5. Upcoming dunk will be from my main round. Now the same thing here I will apply max backspin keeping the bullseye at the back of the cup. You can also try this shot with a thorn for the dunk but I would recommend considering uh, sorry but I would recommend considering a practice token before you play that shot because I haven't tested this one with the thorn. Now we have the king wind for a wind 3 ball 12.3 and you will see even with that adjustment min minus 10% P5 they will this time hit the pin and drop for the eagle. So try the dunk and a very good opportunity for a safe eagle on hole 3 par 5. Hole 4 part 3, here we are going to play with our quarterback along with the king slayer ball. Apply spins to have the ball cut line going through the hole. I'm using 1.5 back spin and 1 left spin. Ball cut line going heavily through the hole, then you locate yourself into the funnel. Now again, wind angle tweaks will come into play. I played this one 1 is to 1 minus 0.2 for 10.4, I adjusted 10.2 rings. Center the ball and hit perfect. Perfect ball. We do come in with a very nice speed. We make a nice rough bump. But again, those wind angle tweaks need to be made here and you will have a good chance for a drop on hole four as well. Hole five par four, a direct headwind. We are going to keep the white ring touching the rough on left. And then we'll apply five toss spin and two bars of right side spin. Adjustment, max plus 10% P5. Sorry, P3 as we are playing with the King's layer. I'm sorry about that. Max plus 10 P3. We center the ball and hit perfect. Again, glitchy fairway. The drive yardage would be around 325 to 335 yards. Three twenty-eight here. Second shot, I recommend playing with the B fifty-two or the Grizzly. Count rings from men. Push up at least three rings from men before you make your spins. Apply right spin and back spin as needed to keep the ball gun line going at least zero point five green square through the hole. Just like that. Then you will adjust rings from men plus 10% elevation P3 numbers. Center the ball and hit perfect. And this one will drop on the left side of the cup. 
so if you want to come in more center maybe you can provide a little more offset to the right see we do drop this one if you want to come in more center give it a little more offset to the right and you will be in for a treat on hole 5 part 4 hole 6 part 5 this one we are going to play with apocalypse and illuminary ball and cataclysm for the second shot I'm using full toss spin and one left spin from top of plus, yard, uh, plus one yard mark we are going to adjust max plus 10 percent p5 numbers and here I use just before circle break OP but I would recommend not applying that because if you catch a glitch roll on the fairway then you will be in the rough so end up a little short that's fine but if you end up in the rough then it's a goodbye eagle 363 yards on the drive the second shot will be played with the big dog or the cataclysm preferably cataclysm level 6 plus due to its ball guard line apply 6 toss spin and 2 bars of right side spin and once you have the spin set the ball guard line will be facing that little red flag post or lamp whatever that is then you will make an adjustment max plus 10 percent p5 and now when you will be applying rings for power slice i recommend applying it from the t angle view and not in the direction of the wind here i apply slice rings in the direction of the wind and as a result of which i will clip the rough on the second bounce otherwise we would have made minimum distance short iron range one and a half ball right curl a power slice for cataclysm 7 i adjusted 19 rings to the left one nine see we do make a very good first bounce but the second bounce just clips the rough so you do not want that to happen the approach shot again will be played with the falcon or the thorn preferably the falcon count rings from men push up minimum five rings and if you do not clip the rough then you will be at the min range you will need in that case you might need to push up six to seven rings apply spins to have the ball gun and going to the hole adjustment is rings from men plus 20 percent p5 again adjustment on the approach is rings from men plus 20 percent p5 center the ball and hit perfect this will come in nicely hit the pin for a safe eagle on hole six par five hole seven part three we will start off this with a thor's hammer along with the kingslayer ball apply three backspin keeping the ball line going three green squares through the hole just like that once you have the position set you will be switching to your apocalypse adjustment medium distance plus 30 percent power four ball numbers and then we will try our best to center the ball and hit perfect now in this wind angle we need three clicks of right curl we will come in with a very nice speed but miss by point five rings to the left so three clicks of right curl in this wind angle and a very good opportunity to drop this one on hole seven part three hole eight part four here we are going to start off with a kingslayer ball and apocalypse level six plus apocalypse level five need to consider a toss spin boost ball apply seven toss spin and two bars of right side spin with white ring just shy of the rough at plus 10 yard mark on the right we adjust max plus 10 percent p3 and after we adjust we will switch our spins to full toss spin and 0.5 left spin then we'll apply max op and try to hit perfect double great left is okay and that's what i have on the video for you here you see i do hit a double great left but if you hit a bad great left it will be bunker and if you hit a great right you will clip the rough so we want to make a very safe drive here with max op applied so try not to hit bad great shots 3d yards 
for the second shot we are going to play with our falcon first we'll perform a pin check here i am at plus six yards so for plus six i played this one 58 percent slider with 15 percent elevation power three ball numbers apply spins to have the ball line going to the hole do not keep it through the hole because we have a hint of tailwind with crosswind again plus six is 58 percent slider along with 15 percent elevation power three ball numbers Prefer to take bounce on the fringe. Center the ball and hit perfect. We do take a nice bounce on the fringe with a very nice camera angle. We hit the pin for a sweet eagle on hole eight, par four. Final hole, hole nine, par five. Here we are going to start off with a P4 ball at complete max keeping the red ring touching the rough on left at plus 24 yard mark then we will be switching to our luminary ball we will be applying 1.3 toss spin and 2 left spin then we'll make an adjustment max plus 10 percent p5 and without any push-up we'll be applying max op on a slow needle with max left curl try to hit perfect I hit a I think it was a single double great left however our aim is to take the second bounce comfortably over the rough just like that drive yardage would vary 365 yards plus minus 361 on this one for the second shot again a power word club cataclysm or the big dog In my case cat level 7 3 toss spin and 2 left spin, keeping the second bounce clear of the rough, at least by 1.5 rings. And I do see the ball guard line forming towards the pin up and a potential chance for the albatross, but I'm not counting on it from time to time. Again, I'm just playing this one for a safe eagle. Then I adjust max plus 10% P5 and notice whatever you pull into in reference to overpower apply the same to your shot inner wall left curl we try to hit perfect we do take a nice second bounce over the rough we are on the fringe for a safe eagle on whole line par five good luck on your qualifying rounds